Hello and welcome to Celebrate Online. Thank you for joining us. My name is Andy and I'm part of the Celebrate team and we all hope that you're keeping well at this time. This week we're going to be thinking about Christian aid and how we can help our brothers and sisters around the world. During the service you may like to stop the service, to pause it so that you can play the music. We have some suggestions or you can use your own music that you'd like to use. Um, you may find it helpful to use uh, something like a computer or a laptop to watch it um, and then have a couple of um, different windows open so you can skip between the music and the, and the service itself. The service will start in a few moments. Welcome to our service today. As we start our service, we light our candle, remembering that our loving God is close to us as we worship. And we also remember that God is not just a God for us, but for the whole world, that all the people in the world are God's children. Let's pray together. Jesus, light our way. Grace is now going to come and lead us in some actions um, for our opening song. Hi, I'm Grace and I'm going to be doing the worship warm up. Today we are going to be doing the actions and sign language for the chorus of May You Find Peace, which you might sing in a couple of minutes. So the first line is May You Find Peace, and peace is this. So you go out, and you kind of make the OK sign. And the second line is May You Find Hope, and hope is fingers crossed like that. So May You Find Hope. And then the last line of that bit is may find joy this day, and joy is like that. So we're going may find joy this day. And then going on to kind of the second verse of the chorus, it it's may find love. So may find love, may find rest. So you just go like that, rest. Here in this place together, and together is like that. So let's go through all the all of the sign language and then we'll do it all together. So may you find peace, go out. May you find hope. May you find joy. May you find love. May you find rest in this place together. Okay, should we do it a little bit quicker? So guys. May you find peace, may you find hope, may you find joy this day, may you find love, may you find rest here in this place together. We now come to our discussion together. Um, the topic this week is thinking about people who've really made us go wow because of the way that they've helped other people, that they've served other people. Uh, my, the thing I thought about was someone who had moved away from their family um, because somebody in their family was quite unwell and uh, this, this parent had moved away so they could continue to work in a hospital and it was a really hard decision that they'd made but they wanted the best for the people they were caring for and for their family. So I wonder who it is 
for you who you think, wow, that's amazing the way they've helped or served other people. Do talk about that together. What is, why is it? Why were, was that person so amazing? Uh, if you're on your own, do do think about who who the people are in recent weeks who really uh, inspired you or made you go wow. This reading is from John chapter 13. Jesus knew that the Father had given him power over everything and that he had come from God and was going back to God. So during the meal, Jesus stood up and took off his outer clothing, taking a towel. He wrapped it around his waist. Then he poured water into a bowl. And began to wash the followers' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. Jesus said, I give you a new command love each other. You must love each other as I have loved you. All people will know that you are my followers if you love each other. So our reading today was about Jesus doing something very simple but very important, washing his disciples' feet because they'd have been really smelly after walking around in sandals in a place where there were lots of animals around who did what animals do on the pavements. So it was a really important job to wash feet. I've got some important things um, that were really important over the past weeks. I've got hand wash and toilet roll. And for us, the simple things of keeping ourselves clean, especially keeping our hands clean, have been very important. And we all know the importance of that. But around the world, there are many people who do not have the basics of being able to wash their hands well, of toilets as well. And about one in four, so for every four people, one of those around the world doesn't at the moment have those things to be able to keep themselves clean properly and help them not get the virus. And that's really important and today we're thinking about Christian Aid who work with people around the world who are poor, who do not have those ways of keeping themselves clean. And so it's really important that we support Christian Aid in that. The, Jesus also talks about serving and the importance of being a servant. And he used the example of washing feet. And he asked us to serve others as well. And it's been fantastic over the last weeks. And we've served, we've seen people help their neighbours, help those close to them. Those down their streets who need shopping. People looking out for people, just giving a call, checking they're okay. Jesus makes it really clear that our neighbour is not just the person who lives next door to us, but our neighbour is anyone in need. And so again, this Christian Aid Week, it's really important not just to remember the needs of people in our street or our town or our country, but the needs of our brothers and sisters around the world. 
And the last thing that Jesus talks about is the idea of being clean, not just on the outside as he washed their feet, but he was also making it clear that he could make them clean on the inside. And we know that we're not always kind or generous to others. And actually Jesus gives us that forgiveness. Jesus washes us clean and gives us a new start so that we can be loving and generous to those around us, whether they live right next door to us or the other side of the world. They're still God's family, our brothers and sisters. So this Christian Aid Week, let's be generous. Let's remember that simple things matter. And please do give what you're able to support those around the world to be able to have the basics of keeping themselves clean at this so important time. And let's also remember that God is a forgiving God and where we do make mistakes, he cleans us and helps us to start again. Let's never give up on being kind to others. As we think about the work that Christian Aid do around the world, we pray. Lord of all the earth, let the wonder and the power of nature inspire us to hope and work for the healing of creation. Lord of the heavens, may our faces shine with the strength and power of your love. Light of the world, guide our way through the endings, change and new beginnings. Dear God, be with us, us and keep us safe. May the strength and beauty of your will be at work through Christian Aid Week. Amen. 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 And as we draw our prayers together, we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. As we come to the end of our service, we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for these times and places to celebrate your love for us. Help us to know that you are with us as we live our different lives. Guide us to love you and to see you in those around us day by day. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us for worship. As we said before, if you are able, please do uh, give as you're able to Christian Aid. Uh, the link will be um, just after the service um, for you to follow or just type in Christian Aid and that will, that will take you there. Thank you again for all those who contributed. If you'd like to send any photos, um, any artwork in for the services, that's always really appreciated. Um, we look forward to worshipping together again next week. Keep well and hopeful.